So apparently I'm a Shane Dawson butt kisser and that's a great, great thing for this video because in this video, we're gonna be talking about perspective, why you need better friends, how to quit caring what people think and why you should be a little bit nicer. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So I've been doing a bunch of videos about the Shane Dawson series. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But for all of you here who are current loyal subscribers, I have a very exciting announcement. This morning, I did some sweet talking to my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, via text message, and I convinced her to film a video with me this weekend. So yeah, make sure that you have notification bells turned on. This is gonna be a really good video. It's gonna be fun and exciting. I can't wait. I'm gonna try to post it on Sunday. Anywho, let's get started with this video. So before I get started, before I get started, if any of you have been around my channel for like a long time, like before the Shane Dawson stuff, before other things, like I've made a few videos about how to quit caring what people think. Um, I mentioned it in one of my Shane Dawson videos. So this might seem a little contradictory. I was thinking that as I was about to make this video, but here's what I'll say. I'm making this video for the same reason I make all my videos. I think we can pull something from this that all of us can learn to improve our mental health. Because trust me, I'm letting you all know right now, I do not lose any sleep over the comments that I get on my YouTube videos. And it is amazing, all right? But like I said, there's some good lessons to be learned and this is a great opportunity to talk about this. So uh, yesterday after the Shane Dawson Inside the Mind of Jake Paul finale, I made a video saying like, we owe Shane Dawson an apology, right? And there were some comments on there saying like, oh, quit kissing Shane Dawson's butt, quit kissing his butt, oh my God. And like somebody like had a counter going on and saying this and I'm just sitting there like, what? And then there's like people agreeing and I'm just laughing. I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, are you serious right now? And like the first thing that we'll, we'll talk about is perspective, right? So perspective, it, it's always fascinated me. I talked about this a bunch in my live stream. You can have two people, two people, or 50 people, or a thousand people, all in the exact same situation, and everybody's perception is different. So like, for example, I've made videos over the last weeks where people say I'm being too hard on Shane. I've, and then I have people saying I'm kissing Shane's butt. Same thing with Alyssa Violet. I have people saying, you know, I'm, I'm victim blaming Alyssa Violet. Then I have other people saying I'm being too nice to Alyssa Violet. And like, this is why I try to teach you guys not to care what people think. If you look back at the videos that I made about what Shane Dawson's going through with this whole situation, like he feels like he's in this no win situation because that's something that I accept on a daily basis is that I am never, ever, ever going to please 100% of the people. And if you can get that through your head, I swear to you, your mental and emotional health will be so much better. I know every time I put out a piece of content, I am not going to please everybody. And it is such a relief because if any of you are like a people pleaser or you're self-conscious, or you get like social anxiety, you know, when our brain races, like, oh, what are they thinking about me? How do I look? Did I say this? Did, did, did I offend anybody? Like, that's the thing. Like, we gotta know that we cannot please everybody. This is why I always tell you, make sure that your motives and your intentions are pure. That way you don't care so much about what other people think. Like, I made an apology kind of video about uh, Alyssa Violet. And it's just because I didn't give a full picture of my views on the situation with the abuse and stuff like that. So like, that's the only reason why I went back and did that because after talking to my girlfriend, I realized like, oh, that's that wasn't tr fully, I won't say truly, it wasn't fully sticking to my motives and my values, right? Because I didn't get to give you like the other side of that thing. But yeah, I really want you all to sit back and think like, are you often afraid to do things because you're worried about what people think? Like, does that drive you nuts? I know it used to drive me nuts and like just the freedom I get from this, like I'm gonna make another uh, video after this about anxiety, but like this is a huge anxiety topic. Like so many of us care what people think. And let me tell you this, for any of you, I know I've recently had a bunch of YouTubers subscribe to me. I know some of you are creators or you're artists or whatever, but like 
Think about the freedom that you'll get when you just quit caring so much about what people think. Like if you go and watch pretty much any YouTuber burnout video, you will see the, the creator. The creator says they were worrying way too much about what the audience wanted and what they wanted, right? So like, this is why I make videos about the YouTube community. There's so many lessons that you can learn. How many things do you not do because you're worried about what your mom or your dad or your sister or brother or husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or son or daughter? Well, how many things do you not do because you're so worried about what other people are gonna think about you? Why do you value other people's opinions more than your own? So the next thing let's talk about in this video is why you need better friends. All right, so a long time ago, I made a video, uh, it was a book review of Sam Harris Lying. It's a very short book, it's about lying, and like, you should all go read it, I'll link it down in the description for you. It's like, I don't know, I think it's like less than 100 pages. I got the audio book, it's like an hour and a half. But anyways, this is one of the reasons why I tell you that you need to keep people around in your life who tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear, right? Because here's the thing, like I know, I know me, I know my content, I know the videos I make. I have been critical of Shane in the past. Have you ever been in one of those toxic relationships where the other person keeps hurting you over and over and over again, but you quickly forget about all of the terrible things they've done? That's one of the main reasons why I'm really concerned that Jake Paul is manipulating Shane Dawson. I mentioned in my last video that I actually emailed Shane because I was like, hey man, like just so you know, like, you know, like I am a tough love type of person and I can't give that tough love if I'm worried about what people think. But anyways, you guys need people like that in your life and here's why, here is why. When you're constantly telling somebody the truth about your feelings, about what your thoughts are, then when you say something kind or compliment or give credit where credit's due, they believe it, they believe it. And that's what I love about the relationship my girlfriend and I have. Like I create YouTube content and some graphic content for like my Instagram or my thumbnails and stuff like that. My girlfriend is an artist too. She designs all of my merch, by the way, go check out that merch. Um, but anyways, like we give each other honest feedback, honest feedback. So like if she sends me a picture and she's like, what do you think? Like I'll tell her like, oh, hey, I like this, I don't like that, or oh, let's not do this one, or whatever it is. Like, I will give her my honest feedback and then she can take with that and do whatever she wants. Same thing with me. Like, she'll call me out if she thinks I was wrong in a video or I said something or something, uh, you know, a video idea is not the best. But here's the thing, since we have that type of honest dialogue with each other, when when I tell her that I absolutely love the, the art that she did, she can believe me right, because I haven't been BSing her. Like imagine that same scenario if I was just always telling her that every piece of art that she did was amazing. Imagine if I did that, then how would she ever know? And this is something we've talked about with the YouTube problem, right? Everybody keeps yes men around them. Yes, 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 yes. So you don't know who's actually telling you the truth. Like the, the golden rule about telling the truth and being honest about this stuff and why you need better friends, it's like, think about how you would want it. Like, let's say you were pursuing something. Let's say you were a writer or uh, an artist or something like that. Would you want people to leave you in the dark and not let you know that what you're doing isn't that great? Like, would you want them to say that and then you go out and make a fool of yourself? Like, okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and like start an art gallery with my finger paintings because everybody was gassing you up. And this is where the balance comes in. I just thought of this, like, so I'm telling you not to care what people think, but you need people to give you honest feedback. What you have to do in these situations is get that kind of filter. Like, I'll tell you this right now. My girlfriend, um, this is just an easy example, but I've had it happen a lot. My girlfriend has told me not to make certain videos and stuff. And there's some times where I, I message her back or I tell her, I'm like, hey, sorry, I'm making this video, right? And sometimes she's right and sometimes I write. Like there's videos I've had that have exploded that you know she thought might be a bad idea. There's other videos that I made that she thought would be a bad idea and they tanked, you know what I mean? So like I take that input and then I sit and I make my own decision. So I really want you to think about that, but like, this is why we need to talk about like constructive criticism too. So my girlfriend made um, uh, uh, a drawing of Shane Dawson over on her Instagram. By the way, go follow her on Instagram. So she put up this drawing and she sent it to me and I was like, I don't know, there's something off about it. I was like, I was like, it's seeing, and it was just really picky, like, I, like 
we get picky about weird things. And Shake, Shane's uh, cheekbone seemed a little bony. So I was like, I think you should just round this, right? And like, that's it. I just gave her constructive criticism. You know what I mean? So again, keep better people in your life because I think, you know, um, if Shane Dawson watches my content, he knows that I'm not gonna BS him. I call him out when I feel he needs to be call, called out, but I also give him more cre credit where credit's due. And that brings us to the last topic about be kind. Be nicer to people. Like, I was sitting there when I was reading those comments saying that I was uh, uh, kissing Shane Dawson's butt. I'm like, this is really interesting. This is really interesting to me. Like, could you imagine, like, could you imagine if my son did good? Like, let's say my son did good on a test and I go to pick him up from school and his teacher's like, hey, uh, here's Dylan's test. I look at him like, hey, Dylan, great job on your test, buddy. And she's like, hey, quit kissing your son's butt. Like, could you imagine that? Could you imagine that, right? Like, this is why this is why a lot of people don't give compliments. They're afraid, they're afraid that they might get labeled a butt kisser. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is madness. So many people are out here saying like, we need to be kind and nicer to each other, make this world a better place. But you're, you're yelling at people for being nice to somebody and giving them credit when credit's due. I love giving credit where credit's due. And that, that my friends, is why I sleep at night. Call me a butt kisser, I don't care. Like, I work in drug and alcohol treatment center. If somebody stays sober for a day, for a week, here in Las Vegas, like that's a huge deal. What, are you gonna call me a butt kisser? Like. Trust me, I really don't care what you think. But like, about that fear, so to bring it back to, um, I was at Vid Summit uh, last week, and there were so many amazing creators there that I love, like Cody Warner, and uh, um, Peter McKinnon, and Gary Vaynerchuk, and Sarah Dietschy, and just so many people were there. And I made a video about my experience at VidCon, or Vid Summit, and how I was struggling with social anxiety. Well. Part of it was, part of it was, I was afraid to go and compliment them and say, hey, you do really good work, because I was afraid, I was afraid that I would be kissing their butt, right? So then, once I talked to my girlfriend and pulled my head out of my butt, I went up to them and I just went up to random people. I'm like, yo, I love your content and let's take a picture together. And it makes them feel good. Like, it feels good to me when people compliment me, so why wouldn't I give that back to other people? And the last kind of like, uh, Example I'll give you is, I mentioned this a while back, but my son, I've taught my son to compliment people, right? And he, he'll he like tell other kids or even adults, like when we go see Marvel movies or whatever, and they'll be wearing like a cool shirt of one of his favorite like superheroes or a cartoon. And he'll tell them, he's like, hey, I really like your shirt, right? And one day he was like, daddy, do you think it's weird that I tell people that their, their shirt's cool or that I like their shirt? I'm like, no, man, that's awesome. Compliment these people. I'm like, and if they think it's weird that you're complimenting something they're wearing, I'm like, they're the weird ones. So I want you all to remember that. Don't be afraid to give compliments. And that's why I made this video because like, this is a great example of all these things. So that's what I do. I take real life scenarios and I try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So let's do this. Let's do this down in the comments below. Below. Let's talk in the comments below. Are you somebody who cares far too much what people think? We can also answer this question. Do you get defensive when people give you honest criticism? Like, do you keep around people who tell you what you want to hear instead of what you need to hear? Let's have a conversation down below in the comments, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You help me do what I love, which is helping people with their mental health. And if you would like to help support the channel, you can do it for as little as a dollar a month by clicking or tapping right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Be kind to today and I'll see you next time.